Nokia has now announced its official entry into the 5G zone and to aid that revolution, I'm joined by a managing director of a company who was at the cusp of the revolution. Remember, Mukesh Ambani himself came and launched a few products of the company that was on. I'm joined by Mr. Mahindra Nahata from HFCL. Thank you, sir, for joining us at Business Today. Sir, uh, how has the journey been from 2G networks to 5G networks? Today, Mukesh Ambani himself came up to the stall and, and launched your products. Could you give us a brief insight as to how, what are the products and how is HFC leading the 5G revolution? Look, you know, journey of country from 2G to 5G. You know, 2G lasted for a long time. But then 3G could not do much. Because 3G was not a technology which was good for anybody. 4G came. Geo played a pivotal role in that. Whatever Honorable Prime Minister said today, in terms of pricing, coverage, reaching to villages, all I think is thanks to Geo that uh, they took that role uh, to spread 4G all over the country. Now 5G has come. It's going to revolutionize uh, how you see telecom. There will be a lot more use cases, uh, like you saw holographic images. Applications would be in healthcare, applications would be in education, agriculture, industry 4.0. So a lot of new use cases would be developed and there would be a lot of impact on positive impact on economy out of this. Uh, as far as HFCL is concerned, we were honored that uh, Sri Mukesh Amani ji himself came to our stall and he launched two of our products. One is uh, 5G AT8R radio, which is part of the radio, is a part of the base station. Uh, we are the first Indian company to launch that. Then uh, he also launched a very important product, Wi-Fi 7 based access point, which is giving a throughput of 10 gigabits per second, which is highest in the world. Nobody has given a throughput of 10 gigabit per second on any Wi-Fi. And this would be very useful in uh, crowded areas like shopping malls, railway stations, airports, stadiums, where large number of people can ex uh, expect uh, very high throughput of internet. And, uh, uh, you know, working on Wi-Fi would be a pleasure with this kind of equipment. Right, sir. Uh, so, what about uh, Atmanirbharta in 5G? How good, initially services has been launched, but how confident are you that India would become fully Atmanirbhar in 5G? Because that's what has been the Prime Minister's clarion call towards uh, Atmanirbharta Bharat and Telecom is surely leading that evolution in certain ways. How about that, sir? We all have taken a lot of inspiration from Prime Minister's uh, uh, clarion call of Atmanirbhar. Initially, people thought that uh, telecom would not be able to do much, but telecom took a huge inspiration from Honorable Prime Minister's announcement. As a result of this, today you see 5G, Reliance, for example, Geo, they have uh, uh, deployed the core, which is the most complex of the network, is totally Geo's own designed. Radio access network, they are also being designed now in India, like we have designed 88R. Geo itself has designed a couple of such products. Indoor small cells, outdoor small cells, we are designing. So I say in next two years time, you would find lot of equipment, lot of technologies for 5G would be produced in India and would not only be produced but exported out of India. So how do you think 5G will change our lives? India has been an agrarian economy, rural economy for a very long time. Even the Prime Minister has focused on how the agriculture and the farmer's welfare should be done. How do you see the future of 5G in India uh, changing Indian life, sir? Look, you know, a lot of new use cases will come up. Like what you saw today, a heart is being shown in a 3D image uh, to the students and explained that how, uh, you know, heart functions and different parts of heart or, you know, so many such things will develop as use cases. The students will benefit. Agriculture will benefit IoT. Coupled with 5G, agriculture will benefit. Industry 4.0, where automated machine manufacturing is to be there. Again, you need low latency, high capacity network. 5G will be able to do that. So a lot of new use cases will develop, which will benefit all these sectors immensely. Last question, sir. Uh, how do you think India will grow now when 5G is here? Uh, uh, not talking about GDP numbers at all, sir. Uh, in comparison to China, do you think India will give a strong competition to China? Uh, where does that roll out now, sir? I think, you know, in telecom, we will be able to give a strong competitor to China. The need of the hour, of course, is the semiconductor facility in the country, which now people have started talking. If semiconductor facility is there in the country, 
you would be able to very well compete with China. As it is, we are competing with China. A fiber optic cable, which we supply to 30 countries, we are very effectively competing with Chinese companies. There is no problem. So with the indigenous R&D, indigenous manufacturing, we will be able to compete with China without any problem. Sir, uh, what about HFCS plan on uh, optical fiber network? You have, of course, exported and I've got good order book in the country as well, abroad as well. How are you looking at uh, expansion of the company and growth percentage and all sorts? We have been constantly expanding fiber optic cable capacity. Uh, currently, we produce equivalent to 24.5 million kilometer, uh, fiber kilometer of cable, which we are expanding to 35 million fiber kilometers. We produce uh, 10 million fiber kilometer of fiber as backward integration, which we are expanding to 22 million fiber kilometer. So we are constantly expanding our capacity and exporting to more and more countries and doubling export almost every year now. We really, we really hope, sir, uh, that the that HSCR continues to grow that with that revolution. That that was Mr. Mahindra Nata really talking about how the country is looking at a revolution, and in the next two to three years, it's going to be India's years, as the Prime Minister pointed out. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.